I hate Arthur. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people, uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Yep. All right, let's do this. Yeah! How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for the take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there. Sitting around waiting to be told, I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box boy is tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes. See? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that? That train job with the oil wagon. Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. 
How far is it now? Not too much for them. Better be worth it. Hey, you need this, Arthur. I don't even know what I'm here to no more. All right, that left away. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Here and go the rest on foot. Don't want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is? Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Keep it down. About five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right ah. here. Hey, come back, huh? Here come the rest of them. Watch it! Ah. Oh, oh. Did your pals here? Okay, okay, I give up. Don't you? I ain't armed. If you want to leave, you'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Go. Get out of here and never come back. Some good stuff. <sighs> Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Told you we take a no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Took this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Find anything yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Hey, it's over there. I found a place, didn't I? All right. 
here, but don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. Yep. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No. I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beast. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Yep. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo, and a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. 
If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam. It's bloody Margaret, not Madam. Margaret. Mistress of fucking danger. There we go. to you.
This funny to you? him our zebra <laughs> well you can call him that <laughs> although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler oh dear you're missing the point aren't you it's an illusion a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses confound comprehension hoodwink your audience hoodwink our audiences <laughs> dear boy don't be so dreadfully literal no one will pay for the truth they only pay for deception the allure of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of mumbo jumbo land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... As long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please. I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. <sighs> Not again. Where's that horse got to? Okay, girl.
I, I need... Help me. Thanks. Please. What happened to you? I need medicine. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh. We just tried that plan over there. And it was like a gunshot. Oh. Remember the one with the pink flowers? Tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Some things you learn the hard way. Yeah, you can, you can say that again. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine. I th
think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of him. I got it. Got the trail. These are paw prints. I'm going to move this wagon up. You paint this dog? There's some pigment here. Looks like... Like blood to me. Shit. What's this? Found your dog. Ex dog, ex lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripy. And I always thought they got along. Wh your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. <sighs> well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <clears throat> The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. Grubs <clears throat> up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. She shut it. Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Let's go. Got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought. Since they was close and all. Well, uh, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, thinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this racket? 
I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Hello, good girl. road around here when the dust was up be careful or you might get wrecked too okay you know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out mr margaret's a lot of things but best female navigator ain't one of them uh, imagine you're right about that we was tearing around here looking for any kind of landmark when over we go whole caravan toppled found each other and some shelter but when the wind died down the animals was gone and now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. Do you ever want to get in the sideshow business? I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint, makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna wanna be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin.
I am holding it. Hold yours. Dog. Big dog around here? A dog? I don't know what I seen, but they got it trapped in the barn there. Okay. You see his teeth? I saw its claws. That's enough for me. What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. like no dog. Come here, boy. Let's go. Shut the- 
up there. Is it dead? I pray that thing's a goner. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. Easy, easy. Odysseus returns! Sally, get the cages ready! Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away! Man eaten lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron! Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they... Well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is rum, old boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado. As green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. Yeah. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. Okay, then, girl.
Come on. My girl. me. Hope you made some money. Micah. Me? Arthur. I like a flat horizon. 
Wide and clear, little waves taking me south to paradise. Not a vicious blizzard, thick mud, railways, filthy towns, and any other hells we've encountered. Black water! <laughs> Never was a place true named, huh? Huh? <laughs> I like blue water. Mm-hmm. Black water? You can keep that. <laughs> blue water. Fire water. Salt water. Black water's for fools. Yep. It's just unnatural. All this land. Ain't natural at all. Hello, Arthur. You all right there, Pearson? You seem a little out of it. Ah, just exhausted, Mr. Morgan. Well, we're out of the worst now. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Yes, yes. <laughs> you okay, Uncle? Yeah, I'm gonna do some sniffing around, see if I can drum up some leaves. It sounds like we're in a Parisian chorus. I'm fine. I'm feeling a little, you know. <laughs> I always wanted a boa. <laughs> a fancy boa I could dance with. If I had a bow, I'd be a happy woman. I'd, I'd be a lady. I'd, I'd finally be a lady. <laughs> you make a great lady. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna be a little bit ill. Hey. Hi, Arthur. You all right there? I think so. Okay, I'll leave you to it then. Sounds good. Think you can make this place work? Of course. Don't I always? Sure. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right then, Arthur.
So, what do you think? What do you mean? About those two families. The rich ones in the big houses. I don't know. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Calmly, I mean. Sure. Dutch and I, we both think there's money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. Hello, Abigail. Hello, Arthur. You and the boy got everything you need? Yeah, I think so. Thank you. All right, well, you let me know. Okay. Driscoll. Um, hello. What you up to? Just minding my own business. Okay, keep it that way. All right, then. Hey. I didn't tell Dutch about the little diversion on our supply run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. Yeah, and that's the problem. All right, well, I should be getting on. If you say so. Always good to see you. Oh, it's you. You know, I'm sure Grimshaw could use an extra pair of hands around here. Well, nobody's servant girl, Mr. Morgan. Well... We all need to do our share. Talk to you later. Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good.
been a few hours. It's just a game. Of masters today. Hello. That's right. Hello there. All right. What can I do for you? Good, clean heart. I bet you got a lady on your mind. Well, I guess you ain't never gotten to Mexico. Oh, there! Howdy, partner. Come on, get out the way! Can't believe that worked. You got a plan, right? Sure. Yeah, I, I got it all lined out. Yeah, well, we don't got time to celebrate. Come on. So, what's your plan anyway? Plan? I plan not to get caught. Shut up. It ain't my problem. What are you doing? 
Going fishing. The rivers around here, famous for the smallmouth bass. Fell I met showed me a couple spots. You want to join me? Uh, I can't fish with you. You're far too good. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, join me. I'll show you a couple of my tricks. There's a spot not too far from here that I've been wanting to try out. Glad you're so excited about this. You will be too when you start pulling out smallmouth. Come on. The fish should be hungry for their dinner. I thought you said it wasn't far. Too far to walk, though. Yeah, come on. Since we rode out, just you and me. Probably since we went looking for John on the mountain. Uh, yeah. Already seems long ago. How you feeling about everything? Been a strange couple of months. Hey, you know, I can't even return to my country because the price on my head is so big. This? This is nothing exactly new to me. And I'll always be loyal to Dutch. He sees the world the same as I do. If we have to fight, we fight. If we have to run, we'll run. If we must die, we'll die, but we'll stay free. And Dutch, you, you don't feel like, well, That he's doing things a little differently now. You saw what happened with that girl on the ferry. No fight, good or bad, is won without blood. I know that better than most. I think too many people are focusing on Dutch when they should be looking at themselves, what they could have done better. Uh, maybe you're right. We'll cut through to the right here. The other day, I rode down to the Lanahatchee River. I caught some beautiful steelhead trout. You mean the Lanahatchee River? No, 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 no. The, the Lanahatchee. It runs right near here. Yeah, but it's pronounced Lanahatchee. Why is everything in English said differently than it's written? Make us feel stupid? Oh, you're asking the wrong feather. Okay, it's just down the hill here. Go try our luck. Pretty country. <sighs> Beautiful. Come on, let's go see what's biting. You take this spot, Arthur. I'm going to cast from over to the right there, so we're not in each other's way.
time of day really can make a difference. They feed early morning or late evening because that's when the insects are more likely to be out. We're lucky, got such nice weather. But rain can be good. Sometimes big fish think the raindrops are insects. Well, I guess it's still relaxing even if I don't catch anything. Sort of like staring at the sky. It's your bait, I think. Come use some of mine. Oh, it's not the bait. It's me. I've always been a poor fisherman. Especially compared with you and Jose. Just try some of my ear. Crickets. Thanks. Might make a nice meal. Oh, keeping you. It's getting close to nightfall. Fish will stop feeding soon. Let's catch a couple more and then head back. The bag is getting full. Another one. This is an angry one. Okay, let's try for another. I was thinking, you remember that stagecoach we held up in Nevada? Yeah, it was a tip from that crooked lawman in Reno. We opened the door and it's full of women and children, rich. But women and children. So we let it go and read in the newspaper that the O'Driscolls robbed and killed them all the next day further down the trail. Yep. You know, way back in the day, Home O'Driscoll and Dutch were sort of friends. Friends? Well, not friends, but they had an understanding. Then Combs Main Street got meaner and Dutch. Dutch wanted to try to live a different way. And now, here we are. talk about a huge smallmouth in Lake Oangila, west of Strawberry, over in Big Valley. You need a lure to catch one that big, though. Another one. He's a fighter. He's small, but might make a nice meal. 
an angry one. There you go, Arthur. Don't rush it, Arthur. He's small, but might make a nice meal. Look at that. That's a good looking fish. Well done. Let me get out of your way. Pull to the left as he goes right. Just the bait. I'm gonna head back. You wanna join me or uh you keep trying for these bastards? I'll come. Okay, let's go. Who goes there? Man coming in. Look who's back.
table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. All right, Might as well keep the reserves as full as we can. Not the best quality, but some seasoning will hide it. Good job, Mr. Morgan.